All right, back in our video today with the new concept of fear bundles. Before we continue this review, I do want to mention that the glitch, the infamous glitch that I use for 99% of my reviews, does work for this bundle. Thanks to Matt Salshaya Pizza, he confirmed that yes, this bundle works. It, it works with the glitch, which is good. Because I only have one refund ticket, and uh, yeah, you can't refund bundles with tickets if you try to do the glitch. It just doesn't work, which sucks. But yeah, um. But, yeah, I'm hoping this works. Uh, Future-proof-wise, we don't know. We won't know until a couple updates from now. Until we, we just don't know. I think it was just a glitch with those two previous locker bundles, but we'll see. Anyways, let's actually get into this review here. So, the concept of fear bundles. 1,600 V-Bucks. Pretty solid price here. You get the Undying Soro skin with the Hollow Bones back bling. You also get the Sinister Glare skin with the Dark grasp back bling all that for 1600 v bucks the sinister glare is reactive every kill he gets he does snap his fingers which is pretty cool there i like that reactivity um, effect we will see how that works in the game and we also have the dark nightmare gear bundle i didn't expect them to get a gear bundle because the other concept skins just didn't get a gear bundle at all they just got the skins and that was it so this is interesting too the dark nightmare gear bundles 1200 v bucks not a bad price uh you get the ever seeing eye pickaxe that is reactive you also get the ending pickaxe that is not reactive and the sinister sinister phobia sinister strophe i have fucking butchered that sinister phobia i think that's how you pronounce it um if you were buying everything separately the bull skins are 1200 the pickaxes are 800 and the wrap is 300 nothing else to say let's get into it Hey gamers, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, check that description for all the other social media platforms. Now back to the video. Alright, so here's the Sinister Glare skin with the Ever Seeing Eye pickaxe. Pull up. Sorry. Ooh, pinkish, or pinkish. I do it. I'm going crazy today. Bluish lightning. Ooh, that impact is nice. I want to hear the noise here. I feel like I've heard that before. I could be going crazy, but I feel like I've heard it before. Impact is really nice. That blue impact is really prominent, and it's very unique. So I'll give it that. Definitely. And look at the look at that, dude. So it's reactive to weak points, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like the Leviathan pickaxe. Uh, you hit a weak point, or even Blade's uh, sword. If you hit a weak point, it glows more, and it's lightning. Really cool pickaxe, actually. Really cool. I actually really like that pickaxe. Nice pickaxe. ADS. This is what I really want to know. This ADS is fucking funky with the hand, dude. Oh, the hand is so realistic, too. Ugh, I don't like it, man. Ooh, creepy, man. Alright, this is the wrap. It matches, but like... Really? You're gonna spend your 300 V-Bucks on this? Go buy like a fucking emote with that, please. Everything else is cool, but come on. Let's go buy an emote with your wrap V-Bucks. Come on. Not worth it. Not at all. Alright, so here is the reactivity. This is what I really want to see how it works. I did kill him with the pickaxe a little bit ago, but I want to see how it really works. I wasn't really paying attention. I was paying attention to the pickaxe. So here we go. We're going to get an illumination here. Watch the hand. Watch the hand. Ooh, okay. Okay. The eye doesn't do anything. I don't think the eye on the back is reactive. Um, no, it doesn't look like, uh, I will do an emote. Does that do anything to the eye? No. Okay. I just want to make sure the eye isn't like on the back. There it is again. Okay. So every limb you will get that noise. I want to see if you get a limb from like a dis. pretend like you're sniping and you're like hidden or something. Can other people hear that noise? Cause that might fuck you over. If other people can hear this fucking snap, you're fucked. You're fucked. You kill someone from like a distance and you're trying to be stealthy about it. You're fucked. You know what I mean? Like if someone's behind you and they just didn't see you, you're hiding in a bush or something. And then they're like, oh shit, what was that? And then they go in the bush and kill you. That's what I want to see. They might not hear it, but you never know. So pull out. Ford. Well, the eye kind of like comes out a little bit more when you're gliding. I think so. I'm not sure. I could be shooting shit out of my ass, but looks like it. On the back there. Not moving. Stupid a building here.
All right, here's the skin without the back bling. I think the back bling's pretty nice here. It's pretty... That's simplistic, I would say. It's pretty, like, uh... I don't know what I would call it. It's, it's nice. It looks good. I like it. It's not like I'm like, oh, it's a big-ass fucking backpack that looks annoying and looks like ass. No, it has a nice color scheme, um, and it looks good. So, yeah. Damn. Really good skin here. I think these are, so far, this, at least this one, is definitely better than the other concept skins. I'm not shitting on the other concept skins. They did great designs, but damn. They're just the creativity here is fucking spectacular. Let's get on to the uh, Undying Sorrow. Let's do it. All right, so here's the Undying Sorrow skin with the ending pickaxe. Pull up. But then it had an interesting pickaxe. What? Okay, no, it's normal. It looked a little interesting to me. It's a little smaller than a normal. It's faster? Is that just me? I am, dude. I'm going crazy if it's faster. I don't know. It feels faster. Probably not. I doubt it. Interesting noise. I feel like I've heard it before, but it might be new. Impact, yellow. Okay. This is... Nah, okay. Epic, you just had like one of the most creative pickaxes of all time. Let's let's just do a let's do a scythe with a with a shitty boring yellow impact. Like what? This is the same pricing too. 800 V-Bucks. Huh? You just have one of the most creative pickaxes I've ever seen in this entire game, and you're like, oh, we'll follow it up with just a generic gray scythe. Alright, anyways, here's the ADS with this skin. The horns actually aren't too bad. I thought they would be kind of annoying, but with this skin, they're like down more. They're slanted, so they're not like sticking up. Concept designer probably thought of that in mind. Does look nice though. Not as interesting as the other guy though. Definitely not. Not as interesting. But still cool. I like the chains here. Pull out. Forward. Back. Left. Right. Not moving. Super bit of building here. Alright, here's what the skin looks like without the back bling on. It looks fine without it. The back bling does add a lot to the skin, but like it looks fine. It, it can run it without it. But anyway, should you buy the new Concept of Fear bundle? Um, this bundle's pretty solid. For 1,600 V-Bucks, you get two really, really creative and interesting skins. Mainly the hand. The hand is definitely going to be the standout here. The hand is so interesting. We've never seen something like this. And, oh, it's so detailed and creepy. Like, you would think, like, this skin would be creepier because it's just, like, a generic kind of, like, not generic, but like, you know, it's just kind of like, oh, skeleton, evil demon witch, stuff like that. Like, that's just a generic Halloween stuff. But a hand, like, that's like scarily detailed with an eye in the middle, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, and I love interesting. Uh, gives me vibes of like Tim Burton, stuff like that. Um, Henry Selleck, stuff like that. It, it always gives me vibes of stuff like that, and I love that type of stuff. This just feels like you could see this in any other horror movie, right? I'm not dissing the skin. It's still a very creative and interesting skin, but not as much as the hand. So still, being able to buy this bundle for only 1600 and still getting two really great skins is a really good deal. On the other hand, we have the gear bundle. The gear bundle, in my opinion, is only good for one item, and that's the, the eyes pickaxe the uh what's it called the ever seeing eye pickaxe pickaxe is spectacular uh some of the most reactive animation stuff we've seen in this game for a pickaxe that isn't like uh in my favorite pickaxes in the game leviathan pickaxe and the ghost rider chains the soul fire chains actually i think they're called the hellfire we're not gonna go on that but anyways those easily are the standouts um I still re recommend buying the bundle. It's not too pricey. 1,600, like I said, is pretty solid for the whole thing. Um, you're getting the other skin pretty fucking cheap. So, yeah. Personally, I will still not be buying this. I don't buy that much in this game anymore. I think they're very creative skins, but do I see myself running this? No, not really. Uh, but overall, this is still a really solid bundle. I will say that. But I, I guess that's really about it for the concept of fear bundle and the what's the, uh, the dark nightmare gear bundle. But yeah. Uh, 
That's where I'm at. See ya.